आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यूर ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे In today's episode we remember nationalist Hansa Jeevraj Mehta who was born on the 3rd of July 1897 in Surat Gujarat she participated in the non cooperation and swadeshi movements and was arrested in 1932 Hansa Jeevraj Mehta studied philosophy at Baroda College and then journalism and sociology in England in 1920 while in London Mehta met Sarojini Naidu who would later introduce her to Mahatma Gandhi and the Indian Women's Freedom Movement. Mehta's political career was marked by her 1937 Bombay Legislative Council election win. Mehta remained on the council until 1949. During this time, Mehta became closely involved with the All India Women's Conference and became its president in 1946. During her presidency, she drafted the Indian Women's Charter of Rights and Duties which demanded gender equality and civil rights for women mehta also served as a member of the united nations subcommittee on the status of women in 1946 she was the vice chair with elena roosevelt of the united nations universal declaration of human rights committee mehta became the first female vice chancellor in india with her appointment at shrimati nathi bai damodar thakrasi university in mumbai Mehta was elected to the Constituent Assembly from Bombay where she strongly argued in favor of women's rights and intervened in debates on uniform civil code and reservation. Mehta was the Indian delegate to the United Nations Human Rights Commission. She played a significant role in ensuring that Article 1 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was made inclusive and is credited with changing the phrase all men are born free and equal to all human beings are born free and equal the government of india awarded hansa jeevraj mehta with the padma bhushan in 1959 she passed away on the 4th of april 1995 air news salutes this great daughter of india vatan pe jo pida hoga amar ho na jawa hoga rahegi jab talak duniya ye afsana baya hoga We also remember nationalist Maulana Habibur Rahman Ludhianvi who was born on the 3rd of July 1892 in Ludhiana Punjab. He participated in the Khilafat and non-cooperation movements and was arrested for his inspiring speech appealing to the people to rise up against the British. He faced imprisonment several times and spent nearly 14 years in different jails of the country. Habibur Rahman Ludhianvi belonged to a family of freedom fighters. His grandfather Shah Abdul Qadir Ludhianvi was among the first ones to rise up against the East India Company from the Punjab during the first war of independence in 1857. His kith and kin also suffered imprisonment and wife freedom fighter Shafatunissa Bibi supported him in spite of the cruel repression unleashed by the British police on her family. Habibur Rahman Ludhianvi played a vital role in the Jamiat Ulama e Hind and initiated Majlis-e Ahrar the Society of Freemen in 1920 on the advice of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad after Bhagat Singh hurled bombs in the Central Assembly Maulana Ludhianvi came forward to provide shelter to the family members of Bhagat Singh despite fear of repression from the British He unfurled the Indian flag in the presence of about 300 British officials and police near Shahi Jama Masjid in 1931 for which he was arrested. When the British officials arranged separate water pots for Hindus and Muslims at Ludhiana railway station, he got them broken with the help of Hindu, Muslim and Sikh activists for which he was again arrested. Oh. 
During the turbulent times of 1947, Habibur Rahman left Ludhiana on the advice of his friends because of the hostile environment and took shelter in refugee camps at Delhi. He rejected the divisive politics of Muslim League and stayed back in his native place Ludhiana. Maulana Habibur Rahman Ludhianvi, who was committed to the cause of freedom and independence of the people till his last moment, passed away on the 2nd of September 1956. All India Radio News salutes the great nationalist. And that brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. <laughs>